John Muir said, In every walk in nature, one receives more than they seek. Engaging in nature is an essential part of my creative practice. I call them creative field trips, and I always come home with some little nugget of inspiration. I live on the Athabascan land in the center of Alaska. It is beautiful, mostly quiet, and so inspiring. I am blessed with the unique unique opportunity to connect with nature daily. When I ride my bike, when I go on walks, when I take the side by side out in the wilderness, or sitting in my art studio, staring out the window, I am constantly engaging with nature. Being outside in nature makes it it easy to be mindful and absorb the senses that it has to offer, smelling the air, seeing the beauty and the wonder, touching the ground, connecting to the earth, hearing the wind blow across the tundra. In a few weeks, we will actually be tasting berries. Michael Bassey Johnson said, Mindfulness is the key to unlocking your creative potential. I have learned from being in nature how important it is to engage your senses, being mindful and grateful for each and every experience. I feel it's important for us to surround ourselves with the things and experiences that we value, from the mug that we drink our tea in to the vintage papers we create with, being grateful for all of them. I start each practice with something lovely in a mug. I grab a journal, I write my thoughts, I clear my mind and I open my heart. This is a self care practice that I am very protective of and it's non-negotiable. It allows me to be a nice person throughout the day. You cannot serve anyone until you serve yourself. I say this lovingly, but I say it boldly. I cannot serve anyone until I serve myself. when I only have small pockets of time to create little bits of art, I try to make room for that. Whether I get up early or I stay up late, I try to make room and space for this. And sometimes it's just creating a little piece of art in one of my books up in the corner that later on I will add art to late, you know, at a another time. But just a little piece serves my soul in such a big way.
another indulgence that I have is vintage papers. I love surrounding myself with vintage papers. I paint on them, I play in them. I just love being around them. So I have a whole drawer dedicated to my vintage papers. I rifle through them, I find some different colors, different textures, I love them. I also have a drawer that, of folded papers that I can use in journals, but then I also rifle through them and use them in other ways too. Um, it's just a nice way to have them organized and ready to go. But it's like these two drawers are my prized possessions. I love them. Jolly said, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all of your thoughts break their bonds. Your, your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction and you find yourself in a new great and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties, and talents become alive and you discover yourself to be greater, a greater person than you ever dreamed yourself to be. Vintage papers inspire my creativity in a way that, that is hard to express. The way that they look, the way that they feel, the way that they receive watercolor, I just love them. I love the history. There's just, they just fit into my world in a way that no other paper does. Blank paper does not inspire me like vintage papers. So I found myself loving vintage papers and it it adds so much mindfulness to my art too because reading the words feeling the looking at the handwriting the script and how beautiful it unfolds i just love it and so i will find myself playing in vintage papers just to relax myself to be in the moment to to experience something new and different Howard Thurman said, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you become alive and then go and do that because that is what the world needs is people who come alive. I truly believe as artists, we raise the energy of the planet just by being passionate about what we, what we see, what we experience, what we create. And Oprah Winfrey said, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Art excites us. So we need to go out in the world and create, create and conquer. <laughs>